children playing outside this homestead may not comprehend the magnitude of the destruction wrecked on their homes by wildfires or why they have to live in the bush. Their parents, though, are devastated by the loss of their homestead. There is nothing to salvage. Everything is gone, burnt to the ground. A couple of months ago, armed conflict in Kotobi, about 170 kilometers to the northwest of South Sudan's capital, Juba, resulted to hundreds fleeing to the bush. A recent calm in the area has resulted in anxious residents returning to see if they can settle back to their homes. Many of those who have come back are reluctant to return permanently given the widespread damage. The United Nations mission in South Sudan patrols conflict affected areas across the country as part of its mandate to protect civilians. It shares information about humanitarian concerns like those in Kotobi with its partners so they can provide assistance. We noted that because the civilians were displaced, they were unable to protect some of their tukus. The wildfire came and burned down a number of tukus in this location. Now, if the civilians are to return to their places of origin or their homes, they need to start from the basics. And they are appealing to the humanitarians for humanitarian assistance. This is something that we shall take with us to Yambio and share with all the partners or stakeholders so that we all contribute to this situation. While some residents' homes survived the wildfire, they are still suffering from the ongoing conflict with their food and other goods being stolen from them. <laughs> While the constant fear of violence and their desire for durable peace is important for these families, like all South Sudanese, they yearn for much simpler things, like a roof over their heads and enough to eat.